Hey guys, I want to show you how to set up the Spivy uh, system with the, um, the big TV and then also the smaller TV over here next to the bike. I think I'm pointing to the right one. Yep. So, <clears throat> excuse me. It doesn't matter which TV you turn on first. So, but I'm going to use this remote. Um, for the big TV. So I turn that one on. There it goes. So you'll see on the big TV, it's got the Spivy app over there at the bottom left corner. When I turn the smaller TV on over here, I'm going to use this remote. Okay, use this smaller remote. I'm going to hit the power button. It's this little button here. So this is probably what um, Alice is talking about. When we have this screen, we need to use, we need to get this function over here. So we're gonna use my directional pad here on the remote. I'm gonna hit to left. And now I need to get to this HDMI three. So I'm just gonna hit right in the center of my remote. And come back here, yeah, here, hit that. And it should, there we go, there it goes. So HDMI 3, and then now I'm going to match this screen to that screen. So that's probably what Alice is talking about. Um, this screen was black or not able to connect. You've got to do a couple little things with that smaller TV to get to the HDMI 3. Um, then, just so you're here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do everything else. Just so we've got this on video, I grab my remote, uh, X Xbox controller, right? Set this right here so you can see what's going on. Yep, there we go, I'm gonna hit the guide button, right? So this button must light up. You have to push down and hold it until that button lights up. Once that button is lit up, that means this controller is activated. Then I'm just gonna hit any button here. I like the B button, it's just my favorite. And you'll notice at the top right corner, the rocket ship is booting up. Now the spivy is booting up. You see all this stuff? And now you're at the main screen. So I use my directional pad. Right, I use my directional pad here, bloop, bloop. And then I wanna choose whichever road I want to, to use. Now let's say I'm gonna go um, Grand Canyon. Okay, everybody see that Grand Canyon over there? Uh, remember, just so you know, when I go to my controller, I need to hit the start button Sorry, here we go, start button. And that is gonna bring up the disclaimer. So remember that function right here is when people can enter your class. They can enter the class and it's not gonna show you the road of the terrain until you hit the um, start button again. So it's the button right underneath the guide button. It's got the three lines on it. And then remember, it's hard to do this guys, sorry. I use my directional pad here. Yep. So these are the functions at the bottom. I don't wanna use any of the ones quite yet. I wanna use the rocket ship icon at the bottom of the TV. Once I hit start button again, um, well, it's thinking I want to, <laughs> it's thinking I want to change the, uh, cause I'm hitting my joystick now, um, changing the sunlight, I hit start button again, boom, there is the road, the class has started, even with nobody in the, inside the room, I can still see this road up on the big screen and it's on the smaller TV as well over here next to the bike. Um, but if I pedal here, you'll see a trainee come up. So if nobody's logged in with their spinning app and I start pedaling a bike, a trainee is gonna come up because 
it might. Yep, there's a trainee on bike number three. If I take down, actually bike 14, because somebody changed out the, the bike here. And I was changing with the, uh, the sunlight. Everybody see that? Okay. Anyway, I hope that makes sense. And then to end the class, I'm gonna hit the back button on my remote. See if I can get both in here at the same time. Bring this back over here. Here it is. Hit back button. Yep. Ask, are you sure you want to end? So I hit my directional pad to go to yes. I'm going to hit start to accept that. How many participants? All the good stuff. I hit the back button again. I go to leaderboard to see what the stats were for that class. Hit the back button again. That ends it. This is what you did at the end of the class. And now you can shut everything down using the remote. This remote here turns off the big screen. Come back over here, grab this, the blue remote. I'm gonna hit the top uh, left corner to turn off the little TV. Hope that makes sense, guys. If it did not, let me know. And uh, it's about a six and a half minute video. God bless all you guys. <laughs>